I want you to look at this video from the local Vegas news. They saying that Big Dre, he the one that shot Tupac, not Orlando. Check your phone. It's an investigation that began with this video from 1996. A fight involving Shakur, record exec Suge Knight, and members of a rival gang. Hours later, Davis, the kingpin of that other group, allegedly ordered the retaliatory shooting. A Southside Crips gang affiliate testifying, Keefe is the one who's going to make all the arrangements and all the plans until that gun goes into somebody else's hand. Davis was sitting in the front passenger seat of another car when it pulled up side by side to Shakur's. In his book, Davis says he handed a gun to a passenger in the back seat who then fired. Metro Police showing this diagram Friday with Orlando Anderson, Davis's nephew, and DeAndre Smith in the back seat. Both are deceased. The gang member saying, when he passed the firearm to Orlando, Orlando didn't have a clear shot. Big Dre is 6'6". At this time, he's 370, 400. He's big. You're not going to reach over like that because shells would have been popping all in Big Dre's face and all kind of stuff. When asked if Smith was the shooter, the gang affiliate told the grand jury he did the shooting. Dwayne Davis was the shot caller for this group of individuals that committed this crime and he orchestrated the plan that was carried out. A member of Shakur's security team saying he saw a quote larger size arm fired the shots. Crazy man, they saying that Big Dre, he didn't want to kill Tupac. Is he dead too? Yeah, he's dead. He died over health issues. He was a real big guy. Yeah. Well, um, I, 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 it's interesting. That's, that's, that's interesting. And all of it's possible that if they was in the car, they was in the car, they making up the story. He making up the story. So, you know, uh, the only thing that looks like is solid is knowing who was in the car, you know, because it could have easily been him or anybody else in the car. From what the Crip Affiliate is saying, it does make sense. I mean, if Big Dre was 400 pounds, like he say, then, I mean, it would be difficult for Orlando to get a clear shot at Pac if he had to lean over Big Dre. Okay, that's one theory. But on the other hand... On the other hand, if dude was that big, I I got a lot of big homies like that, right? And, and it's hard for them to, you know, if you if you're shooting, it's you know, it is the turning radius is a little shorter. You know what I'm saying? The turning radius ain't that, that good. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think both of them it could be possible, but it doesn't matter because they both gone. And we're left to, you know, believe whatever Keefy D says. Uh, this, um, this, this, this Crip affiliate uh, just came about. So this is new information for me. But um, they was all in the same car, all on the same mission. Real talk. It's crazy, man. You got Keefy D saying that he gave the gun to Big Dre and Big Dre, he got cold feet. So, you know, Orlando, he took the gun and shot Pac. And now you got this Crip affiliate saying that he was Big Dre that shot Pac. So, I don't know, man. It's crazy, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, both theories are feasible. Both theories are feasible. To only You're only going to know if you know you're an insider with them and, you know, know what's up. So maybe maybe this Crip affiliate is right, but you know, I'm still waiting for the rest of the information because it, it in a way, it sort of seems like you know they're trying to minimize uh, it to just just gang shit, just gang shit, just you know ignorant niggas got in a fight and then. You know, it's it's bigger than that. It's bigger than that. I feel anyway. But what do I know? I don't know nothing, right? <laughs> so let's talk about it, man. So you feel like it was bigger than Orlando shooter pot. You feel like it's more to the story. You don't think it was that simple? I feel like it's bigger because the I I haven't heard anything about that part of the story from the prosecutor's office. I haven't heard anything about Puffy from the prosecutor's office, even though Keefy D implicates him on these videos that they claim 
they're using to indict him. Even you, you, you got a, you, you got a, a crip affiliate from somewhere, but you still not gonna talk about the guy that he mentions by name on the on the thing. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, uh, you know. It's exhausting. Yeah, you, you know, uh, or, you know, I'm waiting to see how far they go. Because that's what everybody's talking about. That's what everybody's talking about. What about Puffy? You know, so it would be weird that the prosecutor's office wouldn't know and address it. That's why I don't know whether to trust this shit or not. You know, 